Hi everyone, it's Mo Jax and I'm back in the lab today looking at some flight cases. I've got a couple here from the skeleton case range to look at. Now, these are, they come in two flavours basically. They've got various different sizes. Most of the sizes in the range are aimed at sort of controllers, like all-in-one controllers, different types. Obviously this large one here, this is the 79 by 45. This is designed for the DDJ SX, the XDJ Aero, that kind of thing. They've got sizes to fit like the Control S4, Control S2. This one is the 47 by 34, and this one is for like your VCI 100. I've got my VCI 380 will go in there. I've got my Novation Twitch will go in there, and things like uh, the Denon MC3000 as well. Each of those different sizes they do also comes in the two varieties. So you've got the FF range, which is the full flight, and that is your normal sort of plywood construction with your steel corners, steel uh, hinges, handle and all that sort of thing and the aluminium edging. These are rock solid, not the lightest thing in the world but they are kind of the ultimate in protection. Then you've got your PS range which is the pro style and these are lighter construction, you know they feel a little bit, you know they're not as sturdy at the end of the day as this but they are much lighter. Um, so they're much more portable if you're out on the road as a DJ and you want to carry your stuff yourself, you're walking you know, quite a distance to a gig from your car or something like that, then the PS range is probably more suitable for you. You wouldn't want to put this in the back of an articulated lorry and take it on tour with Aerosmith or something like that, but that's what this is, you know, that's what this range is for. But the PS range is yeah, definitely a lot more sort of handy, more useful out and about for most people in a lot of regards. So. The main sort of thing that sets the skeleton cases apart from other cases on the market is that rather than having a specific fit for a specific controller, they actually come with pick and pluck foam in them, which is, I'll get this one open and I'll show you. Now, pick and pluck is, is often used in like Pelican cases and that sort of thing in your, sort of your big pro market, you know, electronics and that sort of thing. Um, let's pop that down there. And this comes with two different layers inside. As you can see there, so there's your foam, and I've actually split this one a little bit already myself when playing around earlier on, but you can see there's little cubes in there. So basically they are just little cubes, and you can pull each of those out, cut them as you fit, and you can get your gear in there to a precise fit. So you can even have very small holes. If you want to put lots of different items in the one case, you can have different holes, different sections for your kit all around, and they'll all be separated, and they'll all be nice and safe uh, within the case and they're not going to move around in there so really cool and obviously the two layers you can go deeper you can go right to the bottom of the case you can go halfway in you can cut the foam horizontally as well so lots of different options for the one case and the other thing as well obviously once you do pull this you're kind of committed to it I think you probably could glue it back in uh, with a glue gun or something like that but if you you know, you've taken all the bits out, you want to totally reuse the case for a different bit of kit altogether, then what you can do is just buy this pick and pluck foam separately and just put that in, you know, a whole new set and just pop that in. It's about £20, I think, for the actual foam, certainly for this case anyway. Price-wise, they're very competitive. You're talking about £99 for the large one here in the full flight version, and that is, um, you know, pretty competitive. Again, because you're not paying for that specific custom build, this is like a generic size, so they only have the one case for that size to worry about for the, all those different controllers, which means, yeah, you, you know, you're going to make a saving there. The Pro Style one's coming even cheaper. This one's £49 here in the UK, which is a very good deal as far as I can see. You know, it's, uh, you're talking about the other option really apart from flight cases nowadays. There are a lot of padded bags out on the market and they do offer quite a lot of protection. Certainly they do. But you're also looking generally at a massive price premium. You know, the... Um, Official Pioneer bag for the DDJ SX is like 170 quid. So it's you know not far off double the price of this. And ultimately, yes, that will offer you a lot of protection. It will be portable, but this thing is going to offer you way more protection, you know, in terms of stuff getting dropped on top of it, or if you drop the actual thing itself. Yeah, you know, a padded bag can only do so much. So a full flight case has got a lot more to offer. So what I'm going to do, I haven't actually pulled out any of the foam in these yet and, and got them going. So what I'm going to do is basically film myself doing this case for my DDJ SX. I'm going to do the foam and so on. I've been watching some videos on YouTube, as is the way these days. You know, you've got to do it. So I've been watching some videos on how best to attack this pick and pluck foam and get it right. And so I'm going to just follow some of those instructions that I've seen on YouTube. I'm going to go through, fit my DDJ SX in here, and I'll speed that up. And then after I've done that, we'll come back and have a look at how it all fits in there and you know see what it looks like. So I'll be back in a second.
Well, that was fairly painless and fairly quick. Probably could have done it in real time, to be honest, but there you go. Obviously, the SX is a fairly regular shape. There's not too much to worry about in terms of the actual uh, layout itself. Now, what I've done there, you need to cut. Ideally, you want to cut the foam so it's, the hole is too small to begin with uh, rather than too big because it's easier to take out an extra layer than it is to put one back in. So definitely work on that. I would probably fiddle with this a little bit more um, in my own time after the video is shot but one thing to bear in mind with the FF the full flight range is that you have got removable panels on the larger ones as well so this panel here for example I could pull that off and have space on the back you know just that basic cut section out the middle maybe and have room for my headphone you know headphone jack and so on to go in the front there so there's lots of options there the pro style ones don't have that because of the way they're constructed they don't have those removable panels on there so that's something to think about if you want to use your controller or whatever in the case then you know you probably want to go for the ff range i mean it you know weight wise it is heftier but by no means you know even with the lid on this is not going to break your back um it's certainly portable and the ps range of pro style range is even more so really so you just got to think you know how heavy is my actual equipment that's going in there how much am i going to carry around with me and you know how much do i walk to my car or walk to the venue and that sort of thing so you've got to just that's your own situation you've got to think about that personally i'm really leaning towards this large one because the weight is not too bad at all now one thing to bear in mind again you know you could cut out extra slots in the back there for your you know i could run it in the case with my xlrs i could have extra holes in the back there or whatever but one thing you could do as well because this is quite not the most deep controller you know it's only a few centimeters deep so i've actually got a whole nother layer of this pick foam underneath that I haven't even touched. So what I could do is I could cut out sections underneath to put, say, my laptop in or, you know, power supplies, hard drives, whatever you want, really, to go in underneath. Then the DDJ is going to sit flush on top with that and then your lid's going to sit flush on top with that. So lots and lots of, of options, really, to work with with this pick foam. You know, that's why it's so popular with you sort of pelly cases and that kind of thing. So it's really cool. I like the idea. I like the concept. I like the fact that you can reuse this case by buying more foam if you just want to, you know, take out, you've got a whole new, you know, your, your controller dies, you lose it, break it, whatever, you want to get a new one, upgrade, then you can put a different case in here, you know, a different product in here, and it's going to fit fine. All you need to do is get maybe a bit more foam and, and pack it out in a slightly different way. So really flexible, really good value, as I say, cheaper than really a lot of the comparable bags for your kit, and they are going to offer a lot more protection for you. So definitely definitely worth a look so thanks to skeleton case skeletoncase.com for hooking me up with these to look at in the lab and to demo for you uh do keep an eye on my channel mojax vdj for future videos i've got more walkthroughs and demos and stuff coming up for you to see and as always thank you very much for watching i'll see you soon bye bye